Welcome back everyone, it's FNHUSA57 here. We are back on Dying Light in the following DLC on the Xbox One. Of course, joined by Slow Poker, and today I have a guide for you on all of the unknown strange rock locations, which this is for the, I guess you would call it, uh, UFO Easter egg. So, rock number one is going to be all the way up here, kind of at the north portion of the map you're looking for this little uh, building where the ritual that you have to go to for the gathering quest is so you all can get to this part pretty easily I'll take you to the rock location from here it's relatively easy to do but uh, you might want to have a couple med kits on hand just in case because you have to come way down here and you will actually take a considerable amount of fall damage when doing this. And right there is rock number one. So uh, this video will show you all the rock locations and the Easter egg. And now we have to climb back out of here and head to the second rock location. Alright, so rock number two, you're going to be looking for this little compound right here. And it's going to be just off of the main road here down in the riverbed. Uh, this one I'm going to go ahead and show you at night simply because the rock glows so you have an idea for what you're looking for literally right here this glowing rock that's number two killed a few things attacking us and we'll head for number three all right for the third rock you will be coming to this train uh, well not really train tracks but tunnel you could say and normally there's a volatile nest there, except I already cleared it out. So right there on the map is where you're looking for it. And we'll be running all the way to the back of it. So I will be using a Night Hunter booster so it doesn't take as long. If you have some of those, you might want to use them. But we quite literally have to run all the way to the back of what would be this volatile nest. And there you go, right there. Number three, strange rock amongst a million bodies. So grab that. If you haven't killed all the volatiles, get the hell out as fast as possible. All right, now that I had to take care of a few virals, rock number four. What used to be the rock that was glitched out, which is way up here, on the coastline actually out in the water it used to be on the other side of the map and you couldn't get to now finally you can get to it so awesome on that fact and believe me we did try many times to get to this rock before they updated it we tried we failed we ended up on the other side of the rock outside the map under the map pretty much everywhere except for where we need it to be. So basically the rock is right here and that's I'm assuming where it was supposed to be in the first place because it used to be literally just on the other side of the fence where you couldn't get to it. So at least they fixed that and now you can complete the Easter egg. That's rock number four. Now we gotta go get the fifth one. All right, next rock you are looking for is in this little compound here and actually down inside the well. That just sounds like fun. Bow's not gonna be too useful down in here.
And there we go. At the bottom of the well. A little tiny rock just waiting for you. It's getting out of the well. That's the more difficult part. So for some reason that used to be only the PC version rock, but it's now with the update in the actual game. So one more rock for us to collect. And off to the next one. All right, so once again, our next rock location is gonna be kinda right in the middle of this field, not too far down from your safe zone off the main road. Of course, there's some virals here because of the firecrackers. This one can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to do because if it gets covered up by a zombie's body, you're kinda screwed and you can't get it. So if you have someone else, have them distract the zombies, and then you're looking right at the scarecrow's feet, and there's your strange rock. And then if you want, kill the scarecrow. And now I'm getting out of this area. On to our next rock location. Alright, for our next rock, you will be looking for this little city compound area. And you can enter from either side but you're basically gonna be kinda right here in the middle of the compound and you're looking for this graffiti here these really really angry chickens and right there for the eye there's a strange rock so an odd place but uh, yeah that's another another place for a rock For our next rock location, from the previous one that was in the chicken's eye, you basically run all the way out and then have to swim past all of these rocks and keep swimming to a rock that is not actually marked on the map, but it is this rock here. And right on top of the rock in the middle of the ocean is another unknown strange rock. And you can see the city that we came from from that way. So now you have to swim back to shore, though. Our next little strange rock, as you see, is already on the boat. But for the area you're looking for from the train track safe house, pretty much straight down, you're looking for this tiny little, like, fishing village, basically. Two boats. And Strange Rock is right here. And you don't have to swim to it either. For our next rock, you're looking for this little building. So you have to go from the main road over that fence and everything. Start from this building and we'll be going out to basically this section of the uh, island, almost to the water. I think there's actually like a safe house or a later mission for it that uh, gives you that as a safe house or something, but I'm not in that section of the storyline yet. So the thing of it is, is getting down there without dying can be a little bit trickier. Again, for all this, you might want to have some med kits, or you could try and do it at night because this rock is a little bit more hidden than the rest of them but it is right there. So we have yet another strange rock and now you have to climb back up again. But the next rock you're looking for this sawmill that we drove through and specifically basically the end of this rail car that I'm sitting on. So once you clear out the zombies you can uh, usually have to crouch down to get it, but it's right here on the ground. Uh, kind of like right in reference to where the wheel of the train car is. And off to our next rock.
For our next rock, you will be looking for this particular area on the map, specifically the water tower, which is actually very, very close proximity to the area that you fight Beezlebuff. So you guys probably seen the video on that, but you are looking for that water tower right there. And if you don't have the grappling hook, yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. But otherwise you can just grapple up here and literally sitting right here is your next strange rock. So grab that one, and then you can simply jump off into the trash bags. Hopefully not land on a bag of rusty needles, and we will head towards our next rock. For our next rock, you will be looking for this basically hillside on the map. Uh, there's one little house and one hunting tower up here, but you're looking for this spot right here where we're standing and uh, just overlooks the main Y in the river. And in the shade of this tree right here, it's kind of hard to see unless you're at night, but there's your next strange rock. And off to the next one. For the next uh, rock, you're looking for, well, pretty much everybody's familiar with like this little racetrack down here but you're looking for this specific section of the racetrack and if you come up on the hill then you can kind of see especially if you crouch down or you're at night this strange rock right here right in the green area in between the flowers on the left and right sides now we have All right, for our next strange rock, you will be coming to the dam. And this one I'm doing at night because the water here is just like ridiculously dirty and you really can't see it. So you wanna try and do it at night and you will be swimming for a while again because you swim even slower in this water due to, I guess, the current from all the water coming off of the dam. But eventually you'll make it out into roughly the middle of the uh, lake here or pond river whatever you want to call it and then you'll have to dive for the rock so yeah like two minutes of swimming and one rock at least the volatiles don't bother you in this area though And I'll turn off my light so you can see the rock better, but there you go. One rock. And you can kind of see how dirty this water is. And with all the current, that's why you really need to do it at night so you can see the rock adequately. So, on to our next location. Now for the actual Easter egg part, so yeah, wait till night, and I'm gonna turn off my flashlight, because why not? The house that you need is this little house that we started at, right by the dam, and we'll be going up into the attic, which, you know what, it's kinda dark up there. Oh, another mattress up here. And you're looking for this weird symbol. So now we can place down all these rocks. Basically just smash the X button for, eh, forever. Making a very interesting shape pattern. Doesn't really necessarily matter the order that you place these down in. Just making sure that you have all of them is important. And then you can use that one.
Hello, hello, Mister. Wow, hello. What you have inside? Yes, hello, hello. So, sadly, they take all your belongings and put them in your player storage. Uh, they do leave you with your ammunition, at least, which was very kind of them. And they give you a new weapon. Now, the bad thing is i got to get back to my player's stash without dying and get the materials to actually craft that ammunition, and I will show you what uh, that weapon does. Assuming I survive this. And of course that volatile is going straight for me. Alright, time to go for a swim. I have no med kits either. Water, save me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, they can still hit you even in the water. All right. Well, yeah, minor ridiculousness part of that. Probably the fastest way is just uh, to die and go back to the safe house that way. Actually, let me mark the closest safe house. It's a little bit closer. You well, know, really, six to one, half a dozen to the other. Darn it, I hate tree stands. They're completely unhelpful. Alright, so now to get my stuff, which, yeah, it's going to take a minute or two to load the player stash, because it put everything back in the player stash. So it's probably going to take me like two minutes just to open my freaking player stash. And I'm not worried with getting everything at the moment. I will just take a decent weapon. And then I will take my um, grappling hook and that stuff out that I need. Just to show you what the gun does. I know I'm going to need my med kit, so we'll grab those. I don't want to have every single thing in my inventory, though. So, not everything that I wanted to have in my inventory, that's why I was picking and choosing certain things, but, you know, hey, whatever. We'll deal with that later. Now I gotta craft some ammo for that thing. And then might as well just wait till morning. I don't want to really deal with the uh, volatiles just showing off this thing. So, 
we'll do it. Okay, fine. We'll do it twice, actually. One at night, one during the morning. Find a regular zombie. Because your gun, it's like the old uh, weapon from the last game. So that's like the one from the first game, the anti-gadoid gun, and then you've got this new one. So now we just need to find a zombie to show it off real quick. Where is one when you want one? Well, surprisingly, when you actually want a zombie, there isn't one there. Got a volatile over here. Hopefully, maybe a few virals will show up because that's what we actually need for this uh, to show it off. But they don't want to come for some reason. Alright, come on. There we go. Now we have a zombie. So, let's see what it does. Yeah, I'd say that was worth it. It was worth doing the Easter egg to create zombies into, like, little flaming missiles. Probably the most amusing weapon in the game at this point. And we'll shoot one at night just for the fun of it. Alright, so here we go at night. So, pretty expensive to craft ammo for this thing, but fun as hell. And you can just go running around the map with a giant glow stick, so put this weapon out and the uh, skeleton clothing on run around with the glow-in-the-dark paint job yeah that would be amusing well hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have any questions comments anything like that make sure you leave a comment otherwise go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe for more content <laughs> i got that zombie finally through the wall